Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. Before we get started, you probably noticed my new background. I just finished my living room makeover and you guys are leaving me the sweetest comments ever. So thank you so much for watching it and I'm so glad that you guys love how it turned out. We also just reached 40,000 subscribers on this channel and I am just so, so thankful for you guys for tuning in. So I do have a little giveaway going on at the end of this video, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. All right, so for today's video, it's going to be a little bit different because this is my first time ever doing an Ask Me Anything. And I thought since we have so many new faces on this channel that I would just share a little bit more about myself and just ask you guys what you guys wanted to know. So I made a poll over on Instagram and on my YouTube community page and asked you guys what you wanted to know. It could be anything from home stuff to personal to YouTube or plants or anything. So I went ahead and wrote down the most popular questions that I got. And the first one is, is YouTube your full-time job and no it is not I've mentioned before on this channel that I actually work a nine-to-five job Monday through Friday and then I basically do YouTube right after that and on the weekends and although it is a lot to juggle I thoroughly enjoy it and another question that I got asked a lot is what is your job and I basically work in digital marketing I actually studied psychology in college but then I decided that I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life so I wanted to go into something a little bit more creative so I ended up going into digital digital marketing right after college and I think it's pretty perfect because I love all things social media I also love things like photography and communications and writing copy and all of the nerdy stuff that goes into the metrics behind social media so basically that's what I do for my full-time job it kind of sounds more glamorous than it is but trust me it's a lot of just typing and looking at copy and just editing things and making sure that things are scheduled on time so it's interesting because what I do as a content creator is a little bit different than what I do at my full-time job. As a content creator, I'm able to be a lot more creative and just do my own thing and just have a lot of creative freedom. So I really love doing both and I'm so proud of how this channel has grown. So I thank you guys all so much for watching me every single week. And this next one is, why did you move to LA? And I don't really think that I answered this on my channel, but we basically just wanted a change of scenery. And when I say we, I mean my husband, Brian and I, we have basically grown up in Chicago our whole lives. We just wanted to try something new and LA is a place that we basically visit every single year. And we always dreamed about living here or just anywhere in California. I remember like being in high school and just saying, oh, one day I'll live in California, but that never really happened. And I never took any action to make it happen. But within the past couple of years, we really were talking about it more seriously. And since we've already got married and we haven't started a family yet we just thought that now was the best time to do it and I'm really happy that we did because I love it out here it's just a lot different than what you see in Chicago it's just so much more creative out here but basically we really love LA and I'm just so happy to be here and thank you guys for asking the next one is a good one it asks how much did you spend so far on decorating your apartment and Honestly, I don't even want to think about how much we spent because we basically came here without any furniture. I've already said this like a million times. We came here with zero pieces of furniture. So basically everything's new or secondhand bought off of Facebook Marketplace or whatever. Maybe I should total this up right now. Let me do it really quickly. Just off the top of my head, I'm not gonna go into receipts because that is just too much effort. But let me think about this really quickly. Okay, for the bed, two nightstands, a light, um, that desk, chairs, another light. Shoot, I just messed it up. No. Basically under $3,000 so far. I think it's closer to probably $27.50, which I think is not that bad. But also you have to consider that our apartment is only about 700 square feet. I can imagine a bigger place would cost a lot more to furnish. Also, I just buy everything on a discount or on a sale usually, or I look for the best value in things. We definitely had a budget when we planned everything out. And I think I stuck to that budget, but I'm gonna have to ask Brian after this video to make sure. <laughs> Another good question that I got asked is, are you buying a house in LA? And this is kind of funny because Brian and I talk about buying a house all the time. And we were actually buying a house next year. 
fingers crossed that that happens. But basically that is our plan right now, which is kind of crazy to say because I feel like buying a house in your 20s is such a huge accomplishment. And I'm just so proud of us because we've come a long way to get to this point. Whenever we talk about buying a house, we think about if we're gonna buy one in LA or go home and buy one. And I think just with the state of the world right now, it just makes a lot more sense for us to go home and buy a house. That way we can be closer to friends and family and we do want to start a family eventually. Don't get any ideas though because that's not happening like super soon or anything. But definitely we want to start a family and have our first home together. Plus, I don't know if you guys have seen the prices of housing in LA, but it's very competitive and it's pretty crazy. So if we ever revisit the idea of buying a house in LA, we would at least have one property under our belt before we do that. So that is the current plan and I'm really excited to go on that journey, but more about that later when it actually happens. Speaking of Brian, this question came up a couple of times, which is how did you meet your husband? And it's kind of a funny story. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that we've been together for 11 years now. Literally like last week was our anniversary and well, our dating anniversary. So we've been together for 11 years and have been married for a little over a year. And basically we met in high school, but more specifically, we met at the cafeteria in our high school. And I'll actually insert a clip of Brian at our wedding because he mentions this and it's just like a funny little clip. We met at Niles West High School in the cafeteria. I would go up to her lunch table to make fun of them until I saw Tina. All I could think of is, wow, her smile is beautiful and she's hot. <laughs> so I remember Tina was the girl with the beautiful smile and she remembers me as the quiet, weird kid drinking a Coke. So that clip just always makes me laugh because honestly, it was just kind of random how we met. We didn't have any mutual friends and somehow we hit it off and became friends and I thought he was funny and the rest is history. <laughs> I definitely want to have Brian more on this channel so if you would like to see more of him, please leave it in the comments down below so that he'll see it and be more encouraged to be on this channel. Oh my god. Someone almost got stabbed at the grocery store. You're not including that because I'm literally smiling while you say that. <laughs> this next one is a good one because it asks, what is your creative process for creating DIYs and what inspires you to create? So basically whenever I'm creating a DIY, I think about things that I actually would use and then I also think about what is the effort that you have to put in and then how much is it going to cost. Just because sometimes it might make more sense for you to just buy the item rather than DIY it. And although I really love DIYing things, I always like to weigh that out just because whenever I'm in a store, I look at items and I think I could totally recreate something like that or maybe I can make that for cheaper. And that's just kind of how my mind works as a DIYer. But that's kind of my creative process. I kind of look at items and think about things that I wish I had and then think about the ways that I could make it. A really big part of that is just looking at things with a different perspective. So if you're going to thrift flip something, just look at the shapes of items or the color or the texture and don't take the item for what it is. Imagine all the different ways that you can transform it and just think about all the different possibilities. You have to be super resourceful and just think about all the different ways that you could put your your own personal touch to it and that is how I kind of start all of my projects. Lots of item related questions which is always linked in the description box down below. So if you ever see anything that you like I try to link every single item or a similar item in the description below so check that out. Oh how many plants do you have? I think I have 15 at the moment. My goal is to have maybe 30 if I can, Brian might murder me if I get 30, but I really, really want this to be a jungle. I really wish that I can make holes in the ceiling just to hang more plants. We'll see, if I run out of space, I will start putting them onto the ceiling. But right now I'm sitting at about 15 plants. It's only been about two months of me living here. So I think I'm gonna start pacing myself a little bit and just like propagate some of the plants I already have and make more plant babies that way. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap up all the questions here. I hope that you guys learned a little bit more about me. As a creator and also as a viewer of other YouTube channels, I think it's important to get to know who is the person behind the video. So I hope that you guys learned some new things about me. And if you have any more questions, you can always DM me on Instagram. I always love checking my messages and connecting with you guys over there. And now onto the giveaway. I just wanna thank you guys all so much for 40,000 subscribers. So I wanted to give one of you guys a $50 gift card to either Target, Urban Outfitters, or Anthropology. You can choose any one of those stores and I will send a gift card out to you 
you guys. I just wanted to make someone's day out there, especially since this year has been so rough. So if you want to enter this giveaway, just comment down below one good thing that has happened to you this year. It could be anything big or small, just anything positive that's happened this year. I just want to bring some more positive vibes to end this year. So comment down below and make sure that you check the description box for all of the rules. I can't wait to read everyone's responses and I just want to thank you guys all so, so much for 40,000 subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already for new videos every single week. I'm so excited for holiday content and a DIY video is coming up on Sunday after this, so get ready for that. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!